At our agency, Sail Away, we ship over 100 UGC ads every single month for our clients. The whole process used to take so much time just because of product shipments, creator delays, feedback, revisions. But we recently started using AI to create some of our UGC concepts, and it has saved so much time. So in this video, I'm gonna explain to you how we use AI to create UGC ads like this and this. I'll break down our entire step-by-step -step process, the software we use, and give you quick tips to get the best results without burning out your credits. We follow a four-step process. First, I'll show you how to find ad ideas using foreplay. Second, I'll talk about how to craft the script using your inspiration videos. Third, I'll show you how to turn these scripts into videos using arc ads. And finally, I'll give you some tips on editing. So let's get into it. So we're gonna start off in an app called foreplay. This is what I like to use for my creative research. For this example, let's do something in the jewelry space. So I'm gonna type in jewelry in the discovery area of foreplay. Now, two things I really like to do when I'm looking for ad inspiration. One, I like to add a filter of stuff that is status still running because I want it to be relevant to what is working now. Stuff that works a year ago might not be still effective. Uh, so you wanna just make sure that you're looking at things that are still running. Under most relevant, we can also look into longest running and sort it by that. Things that have been running for a long time, that's a clear indication it was a winning piece of creative. If something's been running for over a thousand days, either the brand forgot to turn the creative off or it's crushing it. So we do typically wanna sort by that too. So I'm just gonna to start to look through this stuff and see if there's anything that I could pull as inspiration and put into my swipe file. This looks like a nice UGC style. So that kind of trending, pointing concept, you can't really create that with any of the AI UGC creation apps yet, but you can get that kind of creative from like a UGC stock site, like GridBank or one of those. Uh, so that's something you're interested in, you could do that. Let's check this out. Another thing to note is that it is kind of difficult to get creators to be holding up the product in the AI generated ads. There are ways to do it with certain softwares, um, but it is a little bit wonky still. So I would recommend just kind of steering clear of that and instead just having them talk. And then you can green screen them on top of product pages or product shots, uh, and then have like B-roll of the product pop over too. And that's also a nice strategy to use if at any point their lips look off and it starts to look a little bit AI, you just put B-roll on top of it to kind of mask that. That's a great ad. I would save that to my swipe file here and take a look at that later. Let's look at this too. So unboxing, again, that's kind of tricky. I would steer clear of that for this. All right, this is a great style of ad to replicate with AI. So you can see this has been running for a little bit over a year. I would say it's probably performing pretty well for the brand. I'm gonna save that to my swipe file. Then I'm gonna head over to my swipe file. Now you can actually look over here. If you click into more details on the ad, you can actually see the transcript of the ad, which is helpful. Um, So you can see that they're using the hook. Okay, we need to talk about D-Louise, specifically their essentials necklace. So it would depend on what product you're pushing. Uh, let's say that we're doing something that's like, I don't know, their uh, gold chain bracelet, okay? So I'm doing like a sample creative brief here. This is the typical format that we would follow for a creative brief. So we break it down by concept. So this is gonna be the jewelry example. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab the link here for um, this example so we can send it off to the editor as well so that they have that for inspo and then any footage i'll pop over there once we have that but first i'm going to type out the script so i don't want to follow that exact hook exactly the beginning of the ad is probably the most important thing and that's often something that's the easiest thing to just test a few different variations of like three different hook examples you're probably going to get the most lift with just testing different hooks so this one is we need to talk about d louise specifically their essentials necklace so you could easily try a hook of we need to talk about, let's say the brand is called Lover. We need to talk about Lover's gold chain necklace immediately. Or, okay guys, we need to talk about Lover's gold chain necklace immediately. Just so it's a little bit different. I don't wanna like steal anything. We wanna pull inspiration we never wanna steal. A lot of people will swear by grabbing the script, putting it through AI and having AI spit something out. That might be super helpful for me. I just like to do things manually. I love to write, uh, but it depends on your personality. If this is not something that comes easily to you, feel free to use ChatGPT, Bard, whatever to get this done faster. I think Foreplay even has a way to do it too. 
next it goes into i just feel like everyone right now has something going on like this little layer if you are looking for a perfect accessory for capsule wardrobe this will be it has a lifetime guarantee warranty okay so she breaks down the product the features she's talking about what the best selling points are so that's what you want to talk about first right like what are the main benefits so the main benefits of this necklace that she's talking about is that it's the perfect layer piece right so that's like one benefit that they're pushing in their messaging so that's something to experiment with right let's say for our gold necklace that's an angle we want to go with too it's the perfect everyday necklace you will get so much use out of this piece it's the one thing that you didn't know you needed that's in your jewelry box then after that that's the main selling point we're going to go into the other little features it has a lifetime warranty it's completely tarnished for it's waterproof it goes with everything makes your outfit look better you're gonna want to get it go ahead click the link below and then that's your call to action all right so let's get into it okay guys we need to talk about lovers gold chain necklace immediately when I stumbled upon this I knew I needed this right now you can see the way i am writing is the way someone just talks we don't want this to be too formal or it's going to sound fake coming from a creator we want it to be very conversational it's the perfect layer piece but also looks stunning by itself and it's that one item that i always reach for in my jewelry box you can dress it up you can dress it down seriously i'm obsessed not to mention it has a lifetime guarantee and it comes in this gorgeous packaging. So it makes the perfect gift that anyone would love. I ordered it on Tuesday and it arrived at my doorstep two days later, so fast. Click the button below to check them out before they sell out and that's it so you can see we have the hook okay guys we need to talk about lovers gold chain necklace immediately then we talk about the product the main selling point we go into some of the features we get into the call to action we make sure to put a little bit of urgency in there we're saying make sure that you grab it now otherwise it might sell out um another thing you can do is you can write hook v1 hook v2 hook v3 if you wanted to try some different hooks so that would be hook b3 and then you can do body our hook two could be i am freaking out about lovers gold chain necklace hook one could be guys have you seen this stunning gold chain necklace from lovers all right so then you have three different hooks you can try so now that we have our script all written out we're going to go ahead and pop over to arc ads to generate the actual video itself all right, so I have a test project set up here. You basically just put in your script, you just pop it in here. So I'm just going to grab my whole script here and I'm gonna pop it here. Now, what's really important that we do is we edit it so that it sounds like a human. <laughs> I'm obviously gonna delete hook V2, hook V1. She, the person that I choose, the actor that I choose is gonna say everything. So you don't want any notes. You just want exactly what you want them to say. I'm just gonna put all my hooks right here in a row and then we'll have the editor chop them up and we'll note to the editor that those are all the hooks. So guys, have you seen this stunning gold chain necklace from Lovers? I am freaking out about Lovers gold chain necklace. Okay guys, we need to talk about Lovers gold chain necklace immediately. When I stumbled upon this, I knew I needed this right now. So you want to capitalize any words that you want accentuated when they're talking. So right now, it's the perfect layer piece, but it also looks stunning by itself. And it's that one item I always reach for my jewelry box. Now also note, if you put a period, they're gonna pause. So don't, you don't always want a period because sometimes you want someone just kind of talking conversationally, not like pausing between every sentence. You can dress it up, maybe a comma. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. Seriously, I'm obsessed. Then they'll kind of talk faster and that'll be flow a little bit more. Not to mention it has a lifetime guarantee and it comes in this gorgeous packaging. So it makes the perfect gift that anyone would love. I ordered it on Tuesday and it arrived at my doorstep two days later. So fast. Click the button below to check them out before they sell out. All right, now we are going to pick our actors. So it lets you preview all the different actors and how they sound. Um, Some of them are HD, which are nice, and some of them are premium only. So you can kind of see how natural they look. I would try to find someone that fits your brand persona. If this is for a gold chain, I would try to find somebody that's like wearing jewelry that like looks like your ideal buyer. Maybe this girl would be great. She doesn't have a ton of animation to her, so I might not choose her. I like her. And you could pick a couple too, okay? I would probably do like three. They're so cheap. For the style we're going for, we definitely don't want anybody that's like looking away. I like her. 
All right, so I'm gonna pick Angela and then I'm gonna click the settings here and I'm gonna play with this. So you can preview what the audio is gonna sound like before seeing the video. So make sure you do that, okay? So I usually like to speed it up a little bit so it doesn't sound boring. And then stability, if you lower this, it's gonna have more variable to, she's not gonna sound so robotic. Um, so it's gonna make her a little bit more expressive. Clarity and similarity, same thing here. I think if you make it a little bit lower, let's play with this. Let's see how fast it is. Okay, I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click generate videos. Now it takes a little while to generate the video, but once it is done, I'm gonna throw it in Google Drive, add it to my creative brief, make sure it sounds good, and then we're going to send it off for editing. All right, our video is ready. Let's watch her. Guys, have you seen the stunning gold chain necklace from Lovers? I am freaking out about Lovers gold chain necklace. Okay, guys, we need to talk about Lovers gold chain necklace immediately. When I stumbled upon this, I knew I needed this right now. It's the perfect layer piece, but also looks stunning by itself. And it's that one item that I always reach for in my jewelry box. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, seriously I'm obsessed not to mention it has a lifetime guarantee and it comes in this gorgeous packaging so it makes the perfect gift that anyone would love I ordered it on Tuesday and it arrived at my doorstep two days later so fast click the button below to check them out before they sell out so you can see the main problem with these AI generated UGC concepts is that sometimes their mouths can be a little bit off with what they're saying so and those moments that the, that is happening in editing it needs to have the b-roll over it uh, it needs to not be showing the girl because the audio sounds great for voiceover, but we can't have the mouth being shown. Another thing that really helps it not be so obvious is when you cut them out and put them in green screen and kind of pop them all over the screen so that each sentence they say they're kind of moving to a different place. So the first sentence in a hook, maybe she's green screened in the corner, then it goes to a B-roll, then it's her just talking with the regular background, then she's green screened in the upper left-hand corner. Just kind of moving her all over makes it more difficult for the eye to see disruptions to what she's saying. Another thing that is important to note is that you do want to make sure you have a disclaimer on your ads if it is an AI generated piece of content just saying that it is AI generated uh, just because of FTC regulations so that is an important note there um, and otherwise those are my main recommendations just for editing I'll make another video just on how exactly to go into editing this so that it is clear that it doesn't look super fake and it looks good but yeah for the most part I think that as long as you're clear in your brief and you put this in there and you have like some b-roll and some product shots maybe even some like lifestyle footage or uh, some regular just like content of the piece maybe someone like holding it up that you've gotten from creators stitching that in is gonna really help this be a strong piece and then you can also do like a screen recording on your phone of scrolling through the website and product shots uh, I think that would be helpful too to put in there and then green screen her over that all right there you have it we covered how to find ideas in step one how to craft the script in step two how to use AI to generate the video in step three and how to edit so it isn't obvious you used AI now it's important to note that AI is just a tool we use to increase efficiency in our creative production process it's not at a point where we can 100 percent rely on it. So we still produce a majority of creative using real actors. But there are use cases where it does make sense to use AI and that's where Arc Ads comes in. If you're a brand or a founder trying to scale with Meta and TikTok ads, we'd love to work with you. Like how we delivered Rapid Radios a 7x return on ad spend using TikTok ads and done for you creative. And Lifeline Tax Solutions a 9x return on ad spend in just six months. Click the link below to request your free audit. I'll see you soon.